morning children i hope you have seen the previous video and the previous assignment which i have uploaded right before the holidays and the assignments where i have mentioned about the questions related to the prime minister and obviously we have discussed few questions in the google meet as well in fact i taught the chapter 1 in fact the, uh, i taught prime minister chapter right and i have simply you know discussed various points related to prime minister right though still still to clear your doubts i am again you know making the video on the prime minister so that it will be cleared with you all again and if you have any doubts you can clear also right children so let's start with the prime minister and here i have simply mentioned many points where you can revise right children and where your doubts can be cleared very easily right so let's start with another chapter of civics parliament i have already finished right children the next chapter union executive here the very first thing president we have already completed and the third part of union executive is the prime minister because everyone knows parliament falls in the legislative organ right children and after that executive organs comprises of president and prime minister the members of the parliament who implement the law right children the law made by the parliament so here the next official in the line of union executives is the prime minister which is the head of the nation and everyone knows that prime minister is the most powerful person right children so let's see let's start now so here let's start with the prime minister very first thing how is he is elected how is being appointed right children so here the maker of a constitution re rejected the presidential system children here if we have like suppose example if we have a presidential form of government then definitely here the president will be the head of the country no but here our makers of the constitution right indian constitution they wanted to keep it in a form of parliamentary system right children and in the parliamentary system the head of the nation is the prime minister and the president is the constitutional or the nominal head that means all the power lies with the pm with his council of minister and i have already explained to you children council of ministers comprises of cabinet minister minister of state and deputy minister right children next the constitution provides that there shall be a council of minister with the prime minister at the aid at the head to aid and advise the president children here if you see right pm is the head right children and they are he is there right to advise the president right in electing or in passing or in you know implementing some task to the to the council of minister that means pm can form his council of ministers right with the recommendation of the president right children now he was he is a pivot on which the whole constitutional machinery form he is a pivot obviously he is a main center children uh, 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 after that or all over right everything revolves around that center right children to so here the prime minister is the main figure the most powerful figure right children and he is a pivot right on which the whole machinery works he is the one who takes the meeting who decides the agenda with his council of minister and among the council of minister i have already explained you which is the most important officials under council of ministers they are the cabinet ministers right children next the prime minister is appointed by the president and other ministers are appointed by the president on the advice of the prime minister children so always remember children prime minister is elected through public don't get confused prime minister is being elected directly through public with the help of universal adult franchise children always direct elections always have this system of election this is a method which they adopted in direct election children and what happened this is called universal adult franchise where everyone has understood adult means the person who has attained the age of 18 years and above may have the right to vote right children so here the prime minister because he is being elected directly so he can simply directly elected by the public right and the public qualification is they have to attain the age of 18 years and above and be good in the eyes of the law right children next now here what they try to say now after getting elected the prime minister forms his government in the parliament children and that too in lok sabha always remember prime minister forms his government in lok sabha right children and after forming right he forms his council of ministry right so in the parliament he is getting appointment letter obviously he is getting appointed by the president and afterwards children 
president and prime ministers both will come together and elect what children council of ministers which i have already i again repeat the council of ministers comprises of cabinet minister minister of state and deputy minister now appointment children let's see how the appointment takes place the prime minister is the leader of the party or coalition which commands a majority in the lok sabha always remember children whosoever is in majority in the lok sabha the head of that party will become the pm right children the famous example is bharatiya janata party and the head of the party is obviously honorable prime minister mr narendra modi next the prime the president may have to exercise some discretion if if suppose example like for example if may if by chance the situation may occur that in that any party or some of the party lacks the majority right children so few two or three parties may come together and form the coalition government children and who can give the permission or who can find an alternative to this government children at that in that case the president may interfere in selecting in electing the prime minister children and here the president discretionary power may work where I, in where i have already explained in the previous video in the chapter president where president can be the king in few circumstances this is called his discretionary power he can enjoy his discretion in electing the pm when the party lacks the majority children right Let, let's see now powers now let's come on to the power of the pm children prime minister is a link between the president and the cabinet everyone knows children prime minister and president's work in coordination right work in recommendation and after that obviously prime minister and president they together form council of ministers children and council of ministers the part is cabinet minister of state and deputy minister so obviously whatever the decision taken by cabinet he can convey that decision to the president or else president wants to convey something so he can act as a link right he can convey that message to his cabinet ministry right children next now it is on the advice of the of of the prime minister like here advice is being you know repeated so just ignore that children it is on the advice of the prime minister that the president summon and prorogue a parliament and dissolve the lok sabha children whatever president does whether whether he can prorogue the house prorogue means ending of the session just for example budget session or winter session if president want he can end the session right obviously everyone knows the president power is he can address the lok sabha children on the advice of the prime minister right so here president is not doing anything without the advice of the prime minister he has to work with the prime minister at any condition children he can not work separately or independently right he has to work with the recommendation of the pm children right and here if we want he if we if president want this is the power of the president he can dissolve the lok sabha if he find any party is lacking right children so at that time also he has to take the permission of the prime minister right children next the prime minister and the president again the relation children let's see it may happen that the minister has taken a decision on some matter which has not been considered by the council of minister see what happened then if so the president may ask the prime minister to submit the matter of consideration of the council right children so here they try to explain ki suppose a minister has taken a decision on some matter which has been which has not been considered by the council of minister so he if he want right the president may ask the prime minister to submit the matter of consideration of the council like president can come to help the ministers as well right and here which ministers i am talking about the council of ministers now next function prime ministers in relation with the cabinet children everyone knows cabinet is the real brain children cabinet is the main part of the council of minister right the council of ministry is been comprises of the cabinet minister the minister of state and the deputy minister children let's see now here the formation of the, the very first thing the cabinet is formed children afterward prime minister is a recognized leader of the cabinet he is the head of the cabinet children right next the number of minister cannot exceed 15 percent of the strength of the lok sabha children and i'm i'm not talking about the cabinet strength children cabinet is total 20 25 in number always remember children the strength of the cabinet is 25 in number and the council of ministers cannot exceed 15% of the total strength of lok sabha right children that means 15% of the total strength whether it is effective 545 or the maximum 552 this much council of ministry needs to be formed in the house with its head as the pm after winning the majority of the votes in the lok sabha 
right the prime minister resignation means the resignation of the entire council of minister and if suppose pm wants to resign obviously it's not like that ki council of ministers can stay forever they also have to resign along with the pm children when opposition has passed the no confidence motion against the ministry children pm has gone to obviously the whole council also goes with the pm this way the house this means the house is dissolved which house is dissolved the lok sabha next the prime minister is the ex officio chairman of the council of minister he decide the agenda of the meeting children why they have mentioned ex officio chairman children ex officio means two post first of all the prime minister enjoying the post of the prime minister right children and next he is the head of the council of ministers children so he is a ex officio member right children he is a ex officio chairman children and late afterwards he decide the agenda of the meeting agenda means what they would like to take in future right what they wanted to do for the public so that they can retain they can secure the public confidence in their favor children now next relation children he diet and coordinate policy and the working of a various department in foreign defense economic and technological affairs children always remember here the working of department that means here the cabinet ministers always got different portfolios by the prime minister children not the whole council of minister and they are 25 in numbers children so here various cabinet ministers have got different post right they have assigned a different portfolios portfolios means different post right and who has given such portfolios to the cabinet minister he is the prime minister children and which which category of portfolios are there that means department in foreign suppose foreign ministers defense minister economic and technological right there are the department which are being seen by various ministers various cabinet ministers children next the prime minister is a principal spokesman and defender of the government in parliament which government children it's obviously the council of the minister which he has formed his government his majority party children he is the principal spokesman he spoke on their behalf children he can defend his government next the prime minister save the ministers from an unpleasant situation right suppose his ministry got stuck somewhere right in an in unpleasant situation who can save them from an unpleasant situation obviously he is a prime minister children obviously they have to save themselves always try to remember children pm has to save his council of ministry why because obviously in opposition party in opposition they have their you know the parties which are there they wanted the power children and they can very easily save secure the no confidence motion right with the two third majority and if they have secured in the lok sabha in the house they can very easily pass the no confidence vote against the pm and if pm resign the whole ministry has to resign means the house is dissolved children next issues like caste war unfair treatment of the group of people corruption by people in position price rise and violence in the valley all these issues has to be handled by prime minister at any cost children they all are high fi issues right and they really want the meddling or the interference of the prime minister right now limitation on the power like so many powers we did right children and we have now assess the situation of the prime minister he is the most powerful man you can very well say he is the most important that means he is a powerful you know head right he is a head of the nation he is a real head of the nation children but here some or the other way he has some limitations also he is scared of few things right and under those things his ministry can be dissolved children and what are those things children what are those circumstances or the condition let's discuss children there may be dissensions within the ruling party itself dissensions means the differences right he has to he has to solve the differences in his party children he has to secure their cooperation right the prime minister has to secure the willing cooperation of all the important person of his party children next there are opposition party that never miss an occasion to grill the prime minister to grill to attack right every time whatever the pm and his council takes a decision they have to face the opposition in the house and they have to you know be ready for their questions for this scathing attacks right they have to satisfy them right children they have to satisfy the public and they have to satisfy the parliament with their work right children right next now 
when no single party has a majority two or more party comes together to form a coalition it is essentially a weak party and if the prime minister has been formed through such type of government through coalition party so obviously he has to listen with many member obviously many many of his members no many of his party members he has to listen to all of them that means that this there is a delay in his decision making children and obviously such kind of government is obviously a weak government and if suppose like bjp right they have been in majority they won in majority children and they simply make one head they have formed obviously here the head is formed right and the head is formed here the head is formed right children so head the pm is formed right children so pm is the head of the party and he can obviously he has to secure the willing cooperation right children so here we cannot say we cannot say we have not seen in the case of bjp children right children let's see now next okay so this way we have come to the last part of the of the you know of the presentation children right so uh, in fact with the video we have come to the last part of the video children just listen to the videos carefully the previous videos as well the prime ministers the president videos and the pm right though we have more videos right and obviously we are we, i'll be taking the, the the virtual classes also and where we can discuss all the problems children right is that clear children so just just listen to the videos very attentively and carefully and solve all your doubts till then thank you